Disclaimer, I do not own the clips or music shown. These are used for review and entertainment purposes. Thank you. Oh, viewers, it's me once again and this voice. <laughs> It is I, Nicholas Camden on, on, on Channel Camden, and as we're back to the segment we like to call <gasps> Welcome back to Uncaged, where we talk about, of course, movies starring the great Nicholas Cage. And today, let's talk about National Treasure stars Nicolas Cage as he goes on multiple adventures. He goes across the world and he tries to find multiple historic artifacts. And it has two movies, which one came out in 2004 and the other came out in 2007 and and you see <laughs> well the people love these movies they're classics some people have this as one of their favorite movie star Nicolas Cage of all time and you know, they're great they're great movies you know a lot of people like them and well and I gotta say, like, like, like learning about hi historical stuff like the Constitution, and Declaration of Independence, and, and, you know, the assassination of Abraham Lincoln is it, really educational, you see. It's very interesting. That's why I would show this movie to my children. Which I Speaking of education, let's listen to Nicolas Cage teaching us the alphabet. File something. What could be easier? It's all alphabetical. Yes. You just put it in the right file according to alphabetical order. Yes. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Huh? That's all you have to do. I know my ABCs now! I ever think that's how Nicolas Cage taught his kids their ABCs? Ah! Our movie begins with young Nicolas Cage. And the kid that's playing young Nicolas Cage looks nothing like Nicolas Cage at all. And the character's name in the movie is Benjamin Gates. And his grandfather told him that... Their ancestor has had a secret hidden treasure hidden in America and that they passed on a secret from generation to generation. But though the grandfather and Ben believes in it, Ben's dad does not believe in a secret hidden treasure. He thinks this stupid fake garbage he thinks it's fake news. But don't worry. Nicholas Cage grows up and still wants to find the hidden treasure. Because Cage never gives up. Or, or, or Ben. Either way, Nicholas Cage in general never gives up. And as we cut to the present day, where Nick and some people and Nick's best friend known as Riley, but then there's this British guy named Ian. No, no, not not that Ian. He, he, he's, he's not British. Turns on them 
and he's the main antagonist of the movie. And as they do more and more exploring, as they try to find a hidden treasure, Nicolas Cage has a fantastic idea that won't get him arrested at all. And it's a very iconic line from this movie that everyone knows. Even people that didn't watch the movie knows about this line. I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Steal the Declaration of Independence. And I will do it. I will do it. I won't get arrested. Even if I do get arrested, I'll get out anyway. I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to get the Declaration of Independence. And I'll do whatever it takes to get a Ghost Rider 3. Please hop on that, please. And I was also in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. No, not that one. Not that one. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. That's the real movie right there. Ghost Rider 3 still needs to happen, though. I, I, I still need that to happen. Please, please, please. And, of course, it gets Nick Cage in trouble. Because he stole the Declaration of Independence. And he's on the run. He was caught by Abigail Chase, who is the love interest of this movie. And we get to see scenes of Nicolas Cage turning in to Rizalis Cage. And you see, as his father, it's, you know, his father still thinks that hidden treasure is stupid. It makes no sense. I don't know why. Like, son, you need to stop believing in that. I don't care that you're Nicolas Cage. I don't I don't care. It's fake. It's fake news. You need to stop. It's just as fake as, uh, uh, it's fa fake as everything, okay? Just fake as everything. <laughs> and throughout the movie, it is pretty fun to see, you know, like, actually, like, the flow of the movie. Because, uh, you know, not just Nicolas Cage, because, you know, obviously he's great. But the actors here, like, everyone else is pretty good here, too. They bounce off of each other pretty well. And you gotta say, they do their job. I feel like some of them are not really as recognized, you know, for the role for this movie as much as Nicky. I just call him Nicky. <laughs> So then they go to a church, go underground, to find the treasure, the national treasure, if you will. Bruh. And turns out that the real national treasure was the friends that Nick Cage has made along the way. And his father himself had to tell him that. As Nick Cage's father started liking, you know, looking for treasure and going on adventures and stuff. He was like, maybe, just maybe, there's some fun in this. Maybe there's not just some nonsense in all this. Gives the Declaration of Independence to the FBI and for his great heroism, he has no prison sentence, no criminal record, alongside his friends and his father. But Ian goes to jail. Ian is arrested. Ian, Ian goes to jail. You go to jail now, Ian. And Rizalus Cage has a girlfriend now. And everything ends happily ever after the end. Well, then we get a sequel. The movie begins with another flashback. But it's about the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. We get to see some of the secrets of John Wilkes Booth. And there's a conspiracy going around. And, like, some writing saying that Ben's ancestor, Thomas, was involved in the assassination of Lincoln. 
So it's up to Nicolas Cage. And his father to stop and clear their ancestor's name. And there's also a scene where he starts to decipher some codes while being in Paris. Nicholas Cage is in Paris. And he also brings his girlfriend Abigail. Kind of. They have some issues that they need to resolve. That's a subplot in the movie. And, and during that, we also get to see some new characters. Like Nicolas Cage's mom. Or, or Ben Gates' mom. Hel Helen Marin. And it, it, it turns out that Ben was a child of divorce. So yeah, I, I guess this movie's kind of like about bad relationships. Or something probably. But uh you know how Nicolas Cage likes to act uh cuckoo and uh, insane and stuff, right? Well I, I say in the first movie he was kinda calm for most of the time. Just though he still did crazy things, but he wasn't as loud as you would typically expect him to be, which was fine. But yeah, there's a uh a scene in this one where he's our typical lovable and huggable Nicholas Cage. What in the world? Wrong about us! Yo, Wrong Nick, about what are you doing? Wrong that you like the Queen Anne chair! You're Someone wrong. kick him out of here, bro. Like you see? You see everybody listen what to what this. You doing, bro? This is more interesting than that. She thinks that even when I'm right, I'm wrong. Okay, Isn't Nicholas that right? Cage, we know about your relationship Just problem, because oh I answer God. a question quickly uh -huh. doesn't make it wrong. Not if yeah, the right know. answer is mm -hmm. something we need to figure out together. Yeah. As a couple, that's what couples do. Oh, sure. and you and your missus take it up. Oh, now look what you've done. You're welcome. Bobby's down Nicholas on Cage. us. Hey, bro, what you, you doing? Outside. I'm staying right here. Hey, hey bro. Hey, bro, hey. what you doing, hey. bro? Hey, bro. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Yep, Nick, what Been you doing? Away. Just a nip. Just pop down to the pub for a pint. Bit of all right. Going to arrest a man for that. Oh, okay, Nick. Going to detain oh. a blighter for enjoying his whiskey. It's all right, that's Nick, enough. Nick, Better as a man. Bottles and squeak. Okay. Smoke your pint, sir. Hi, uh, guys! Uh, so uh, what? Dismount the banister. stuff. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Hey, 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 Personally, I would have went and uh, wore a bear suit and start punching people. So personally, I will have an entire shrine dedicated to Nicolas Cage and how goaded he is. Bro, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? I would definitely have this. Right. Bro, is that is that Greg Heffley? Like, bro, what's he doing in this movie? Yeah, uh, Nick gets into a heated argument with Greg Heffley about the conspiracy of Lincoln's assassination. And I I just I I I, I don't even know. Because honestly, Nick Cage, like bro, you should have put the, the cheese touch on him. President Lincoln was never accompanied by guards when attending the theater. Are you listening? Especially on Good Friday. How do you explain why all the bridges under Washington were closed? Except one. The one boot needed to escape. Okay, run along now, you impossible child. Well, oh, could you imagine if, like, Rowley in The Diary of a Wimpy Kid was played by Nicolas Cage? I want to see that alternate universe. Don't come to my house. Don't hang with me anymore. You're not my friend. Never was, never will be. No! I'm gonna hang out with G-Force instead. Nick Cage has another brilliant idea. He wants to kidnap the President of the United States. I'm gonna kidnap him. I'm gonna kidnap the President of the United States. Yep. Yep, he's gonna kidnap President of the United States. 
Nicholas Cage is too invincible to be taken down. If he wants to kidnap the President of the United States, let him do it! Okay, so this movie came out in 2007, so like... Will he be kidnapping George Bush? Or, uh... Wait, no, it's, it, it, it's, it's Bruce Greenwood. Bruce Greenwood is, is the president. It is, it isn't no real president. It's a fictional president, so then the, the movie won't feel dated. The actual reason is because, you know, he's trying to find the actual secrets. And the only way to do that is to talk to the president himself. And then, of course, Cage is on the run. Because you're, you're still in the president. But the president and Cage actually talk to each other. And the president's like, you know they're going to come after you, right? And Cage continues to go on his adventure. Because he doesn't care. He won't give up. He's going to find out about the Book of Secrets to clear his ancestor's name. I will. I will do what I have to do. I am the greatest actor of all time. So, after that, Nicholas' parents fall in love again. Nick gets back with his girlfriend. Rizzleus Cage returns. Nick Cage, it seems like he's ready for his next adventure as the movie ends. Which makes us wonder if there's going to be another... Yeah, um, sadly, not a third National Treasure movie. As the directors and cast confirmed, even Cage himself confirmed, like, yeah, third one's in development. They were confirming that over and over throughout the years, as far as, like, 2008. And they s still haven't finalized the script or anything. So, uh, um, yeah, we, we sadly... We, we sadly may not get a National Treasure 3. This is a National Treasure Disney Plus series. And it does not have Nicolas Cage, unfortunately. National Treasure 1 and 2 were good movies. They were really pretty fun action adventure movies. Very, like, fun to watch, you know. And Nicolas Cage is typical. He's a fun, charismatic actor. And as he sees as himself, and he, he, he sometimes has a little too much fun, but even besides that, everyone else in this movie, in both movies, they were pretty good. They were good actors, they did what needed to be done, they had charisma, and they have a pretty neat script, it's like very interesting. And if you haven't seen these two, go check them out. You won't be disappointed. They're, they're, they're pretty good. They're, they're really good. And it could show Nicolas Cage's likable personality besides just, just, just screaming at people all the time, which we, we enjoy, but there's a bit more to him than that. These are the donuts that I give it. They're, they're good. Both of them are good. Check them out. Please. Please check them out. We love Nicolas Cage. You love Nicolas Cage. We all love Nicolas Cage. <laughs> That's the installment to my Uncaged segment. And I just gotta say, I still want you all to support my Nicolas Cage shrine, bro. Look at this. It's beautiful. I love it. Everyone loves it. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is I. Camden from another universe, where I'm Nicolas Cage all the time, and I've been summoned by him, because he keeps using the Nicolas Cage voice over and over. I'm here now. Mr. Cage, can we have your autograph? All right. So, you're twins. No. no. We're, We're triplets. Triplets. Beaver. 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 Beaver.